Okay, so let's get to it. I believe that I'm sharing, I hope I'm sharing my uh, screen. And I think that the easiest way for me to answer any questions you might have about studying communications design at Pratt MWP um, in Utica, uh, the best way for me to answer those questions is to show you my website. So my website is called the Creative Meeting, it's called the, it's, it's called the Meeting House Creative Collaborative. And the uh, if you want to visit this address later, you can check it out. It's meetinghouse.co.com. So I'm going to hit the About tab. And uh, what we have here is if you want to know a little bit more about the Meeting House uh, Creative Collaborative, it's um, this is where I am right now. Uh, that's my little turret. The third floor is my studio, and that's where I'm broadcasting to you right now. And this building is on our campus, and we have... Uh, sophomore level classes, actually some freshman classes as well. So this is also um, classroom space on our campus. Uh, let's go back. And if you want to know more about me, uh, you can click here. I'm not going to talk about myself, but this beautiful photograph was taken by one of our uh, former students. And you can read this uh, interview with me and see some really lovely illustrations done uh, by my students. Okay. Uh, the other thing I have on my website is news, and uh, it, it could be whatever's happening uh, in the world. Uh, here is a lecture that is was postponed, but uh, luckily we're going to have Paul Sayer, who is very, I would call him like one of the elite in graphic design. He'll be here uh, from New York City uh, next semester to lecture our students. Uh, and his wife is Emily Oberman. I'll just do some name dropping here uh, from Pentagram. Um, I just so happen to be the chair of what's called the uh, Eastern Pribble Visiting Artist Lecture Series. And uh, last February, we welcomed uh, Armando Veve. And I'm going to, this is a, a secret little thing. Don't, don't tell anyone that I'm sharing this with you. Um, but this is for friends and family of uh, Pratt MWP. Uh, Armando is a brilliant, brilliant illustrator from Philadelphia. Um, he's very young. And uh, he came and did an amazing lecture. And here's a link to it. So if you want to watch uh, Armando Veve's lecture um, about his process and his entire illustration career, I highly recommend that. So that's a bonus for you. Uh, let's see what else do I have here in my news. Um, I'm very proud to say that our students are constantly recognized. Um, and uh, GDUSA, if, uh, if students, if you haven't already done this, I would, uh, students of graphic design especially, I would sign up for that. Go to gdusa.com. It's a free publication that you can get mailed to you in print. And uh, for the last over 10 years, we have had our own students uh, featured in the Students to Watch. Uh, this year, we have Sadie, Sadie Broussard and um, Jose Antiveros. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, GDUSA also sponsors something called the American Graphic Design Awards. And um, I haven't counted them, but we must have maybe a hundred of our sophomore projects have been recognized um, with this honor. And here are a few of the projects uh, from sophomore level that were featured uh, last year. Uh, but not only in the states are we winning awards, uh, we, uh, Pratt MWP uh, takes over the world. Uh, Packaging of the World is a, a website that features a professional and student work. And if you type our school name in uh, two different ways, uh, Pratt MWP one word and Pratt space MWP, you'll get uh, different, you'll get two different uh, groups of our students. Uh, one of the ones I'm going to show you now is uh, Christina Selinsky. Uh, this is her uh, packaging product, packaging project when she was a student here, sophomore year. And uh, this project was uh, well, with our new curriculum, this would fit into the side hustle category. Uh, we have a nice new uh, ComD curriculum that is really updated uh, and, and wonderful. And if I, I'm just going to now uh, type in uh, Christina, whoops, 
uh, open up her current website just to show you how uh, she's taken what she learned sophomore year and uh, and 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 gone beyond. So while she was a student here, she posted that Kalia project on her Behance page, and NBC saw that and recruited her. Just contacted her and said, "Would you like an internship?" And she worked for NBC. Uh, night, uh, what, uh, sort of Saturday Night Live and, and the late night shows. Then she worked at Vice and Barney's all while she was a student. And uh, her final senior year, she was granted the Apple internship over the summer and they flew her out to Cupertino. And uh, now she currently is a visual designer at IBM. So uh, the reason why I, I show this is I, I just was so thrilled to see that a lot of the work that she did in our classes in Utica is still on her website. And it's what she, um, what helped her to get here, see here's that Kalia project. So what she did is she um, expanded on it and really um, dove headfirst into UI and UX design. Um, so this is a great example of using those foundations to go uh, further. Let me go back to my website. Okay. All right, let's see, where are we? Oh yeah, packaging of the world. And um, another thing I'm very proud of uh, was uh, we have the AIGA, it's the uh, Professional Organization of Design. Um, students that are interested can volunteer and uh, participate in that. And uh, we have, um, every year that we've competed in the AIGA Student Challenge, we have brought home the award. This was the Design for Good Award. And again, here's our students that I'm so amazingly proud of who have just graduated in like last May, like less than a year ago, they have graduated and already uh, Joe Owens has worked for Annie Leibovitz, Stefan Sagmeister, Jessica Walsh. I know I'm name dropping, but these are the big, um, you know, coveted uh, places to work. And Bridget Swain uh, just recently sent me a uh, an email saying that the work that she did uh, sophomore year is what uh, helped her land her job at CBS. So uh, there's a lot more here that I could share, but I don't want to take up too much of your time. Uh, let's look at the projects page. As you can see, I'm very proud of Utica, and Utica uh, Proud is one of our, our projects. Uh, uh, each year, the students in our research class um, study uh, something to be proud of in Utica, and this, this project has evolved over the years uh, from uh, creating books that have, have sell out books to a 10 part um, series in the local newspaper. Uh, let's see, what else did I want to show you? Uh, oh yeah, I'll show you, this is our, this is our class website. So now that we're uh, online, doing online learning, um, our class website is how we, we share our work. And this is a project that um, on and off, I have done this project over the years. Uh, it's called Project Truth. It's for a research class that I teach. And uh, as a group, we create a manifesto. And uh, then they do, they deep dive into research. Um, this is a previous year a student uh, did research. She was a Nigerian student and she researched the wars in the world today and created this really uh, lovely uh, infographic. This is Manu Manuela Bonomi. And I'm gonna click on her link here. And you can see that currently, this is her Behance page. Uh, Behance, another great uh, tool for students. If you haven't checked out Behance, you definitely should. Uh, but she uh, currently works for the BBC and took uh, those uh, foundations that she uh, received in Utica and applied them to uh, her current her current work. This is her reel, and and I, I watched her reel yesterday, and I was like, "What? These are the projects she did for me, and they're still in her reel." And she works for the BBC. Um, you can see the growth. You can see the attention to detail, illustration, typography, um, and then uh, moving on into animation. Um, so these are like very elemental projects, but you can see how they've informed her current work. Uh, so here's some of the 
uh, BBC work that she's doing. Um, and some of it really does touch on about the wars in the world. I have one more student that I would like to share uh, some work. Um, uh, just one last thing I wanna share with you. Let's see if I can get this to open. Close that, open this. Uh, Abby Layton, when she was a sophomore, she uh, did a project for me uh, for this Project Truth, it was a, it's a research project, but we also focus on typography. And she was interested in the national parks and she was interested in, um, she was interested in uh, hand lettering. So this love of illustration and lettering and um, the national parks. And as we scroll down to her, of course, this is playing music in my ear, which you cannot hear, so I gotta turn this off. Okay, let's scroll on down, let's see Abby. Uh, she is right here. Uh, Abby is also a three-time winner of the Taco Bell uh, Live Moss Award. Uh, and I think if I enlarge this, you can see, okay, Abby Layton. And uh, now she's taken that love and she is actually a full-time designer for the national parks. The work that she has done is just absolutely incredible. Um, it includes merchandise, map making, she's created photography, illustration, hand lettering. This book, Take a Hike, um, oh, I thought if I clicked on it, it would open. Here it comes, uh, is absolutely beautiful. And you can see how uh, her foundational years at in Utica have really um, influenced her life and career. So I'm going to close now. I hope to see you in the fall and thank you very much. Goodbye.